Hello again, it's Karen Spain of Karen Spain Designs. And I haven't been on here for a little while. Um, and I'm working on a project that I'm really not filming me doing. I've been working on it for days now. It's a U Gears project. I started doing these projects. This is my fifth one, I think. Uh, it's called the Royal Carriage. And it's intense. <laughs> I'm actually hand painting it to, it, it's, it's almost a replica of the one that Kate and William wrote in uh, during their marriage, when they got married. So uh, I'm attempting to paint it as similar as I can to that carriage. Um, so far I've gotten quite a bit done. Here is actually the carriage part where Kate and William, will, there'll be little figures that represent them that go right in here, and I'm gonna paint them like their wedding day. Um, and the carriage goes into a contraption. Let's see <laughs> how this goes. I can't put it together yet, but it'll go into something like this right here. Um, this is a part that I'm not sure what it is, but it's gonna have two two soldiers or whatever royal guard <laughs> will be here and must be for security because there's horses that pull the carriage um so and the carriage oh uh, let's see here i actually i did this filming this morning and when i get got upstairs to put it on my computer i now hear a boat but there was a leaf blower guy <laughs> blowing leaves and it was so loud. But when I start doing stuff, I don't hear the world. I don't hear anything. So I didn't realize that that noise is going on and it ruined my video. So I'm doing it again um, to show you. But these are the colors of the actual carriage, the dark burgundy, the golds, and then the bright red on the inside. So I'm doing my best to keep it as original as possible. Also, I have finished the horses that are gonna pull the carriage. Here is, right here is one, one set, there's two horses, and one has a rider, and then there's another set that goes behind that has another rider uh, and an extra horse. So I, I painted these as exact as I could. Uh, the horses are all white white horses, let's see how I can get this right, you don't see, you can see me talking. Uh, they're white horses with black uh, harnesses and all of that. Uh, the riders wore black riding hats. I don't know if you can see, it was my black background. They have little black hats. They have gold with a little red uh, jackets, white pants, black boots with gold trim. <laughs> anyway, I looked at all the pictures to try to get these as accurate as possible. And they're really cute. It's taken me a long time. All these little pieces had to be put together, then I had to paint. And so that's why I really haven't filmed this project. I, uh, I've been doing these YouTube projects for a couple of years now. I only have 66 subscribers. So uh, if you happen to watch this, please, hit the subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. It's free, but it helps me. And also hit the like button. Uh, and also notifications if you want notices when I put up new videos. I have over a hundred projects on YouTube that I've done for the past couple of years. Uh, like I said, I don't have a lot of subscribers and not a massive amount of viewers, but I do have more viewers than I do subscribers. Uh, okay, I've been working on the little wheels that are going to go on the carriage, and I actually have gotten them finished. Almost. i got to paint the outside of the wheels uh, in a bit. So there's two of those, and then I'm trying to put together, there's two pieces of wheels that goes together, and then I have to put these little fasteners all the way around. That will take me all afternoon because it's not easy to get those suckers on, but I was just showing you how it's gonna be. And uh, I looked at the wheels on the carriages and they were black and red and a kind of a yellow gold. So that's what I'm doing. And um, 
that's how far I've gotten. Uh, here's a piece that's going to hold everything together underneath. And in the pictures, all the undercarriage things were painted a bright red and the yellow, not a bright, not a gold gold, but a yellow gold. <laughs> so that's how I'm painting that. And it's going to be really cute. I don't know if it's going to work. Doesn't matter um, because it's just going to be sitting on a shelf as an art object. It's really why I'm doing them. I'm not going to sit around making the little carriage go all over the house. <laughs> so, um, that's that. So please, please subscribe, like, and uh, hit the notifications little bell and you'll get notifications. All right, again, it's Karen Spain. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. I thought I'd show you uh, one page of how I do. Um, well, how the instructions say. It comes with these instructions. There's no words, it's just pictures. And then it tells you which board to pick out. I've already got five done, so I'm working on six and I have to punch out all the pieces that are highlighted on that page. I've already punched out this. I'll lay it down. That's 120. Now I need 121. I have learned not to punch out ahead of the game. All right, where's 121? Okay, here's 121. So I, I punch and I hope I don't break it because these pieces have been very bad to break and I've had to do a lot of gluing. Okay, so I've got 120 and 121. So now it's telling me to put this side down and this bigger side in. It shows you into what holes. So it's supposed to go into here. <laughs> I have to look at the picture several times to make sure I'm doing it right. And then I've got to try to get it to go in all the way without breaking it. And sometimes I break them. And it's not easy to get them all the way in, but it's important for everything to fit right. So I just keep wiggling and hope to goodness it'll go flush. It needs a little bit more. Okay, I think I've got it. All right, so now, now I need 122 and there's two of them. Okay, on the board it has the numbers by the parts. So again, I gently try to punch them out and hope they come out whole. <laughs> Sometimes you have to work with them a bit. All right, so now <laughs> my palm's itching. Okay, so we have this piece, but now I need that down. And okay, I've got this position. And this has got to go in that hole. All right, I have to look at this. Ah. Oh, wait, so see, I had, to, I had this little groove had to be up. So now I start over again. This goes through there. This up and this goes through here. <coughs> you know what? I'm going to put some, I have wax over here. Sometimes if I put wax on one end, now I get it back in the right position. This part up. And this is supposed to go into there. <coughs> I 
<coughs> and that this goes up against there. So I have that one on. So now I've got to do the other side. I'm going to have to pause the camera because I need to cough. Okay, now I thought I'd show you tea lights. I take them out of the little tin, make great wax. To uh, They actually suggest that because they don't send you enough wax to get everything waxed. But I wax that little tip right here. And now I need this up. And this goes in this hole right here. Gently, gently press it on. And you just can't press too hard because I have broken pieces. It's so easy to break. And this particular model, oh my gosh, it is so fragile. And I've had so many pieces break. Okay, now, all that's together. All right. And I had to use my wax, which that helped. Now it's saying I need piece 123, which is right here. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> um, I even got one of these little thumb things that people use for counting money at the bank because <laughs> my thumb got so sore from pushing all this stuff together. All right, so now I've got to put this on here and I'm going to put wax on all these tips. I want to do it over here because it, it makes the wax fall all over my table where I don't want it. Okay, so now I have wax. On there. On there and on there. Gently. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I have learned with these. If you... You got to be. Let me see if I can do it this way. All right, that's going in. That's going in. And that's going in. I got to get them all the way though. When you hear a pop, you know you've got it pretty much right. And when you see these little things flush here, you know you've got it. Okay. And I need to get the wax off because I'm going to paint this at some point. All right, so now we have this piece done. Push that on. I need two 124s. And they are up here. So far, everything's been really easy. Yeah, that's 124. Okay, so I need, what do I need? Oh, I need it this way. I always have to get it like the picture. And these are going in Okay. Well, it looks weird, but it says it comes in up here. And this is why I don't film these because it takes me forever get these little parts in and to try my best not to break them. I might should have waxed it, but all right, I don't know if I'm getting this on here right. 
You know what it looks like? All right, you're going into the top, top hole. You know what, I'm gonna go wax them. Okay, the top hole by that little indention. And I have to be so careful that I don't break these. I just have to keep just jiggling. Okay, it looks like I've got it. Okay, I got one side. Now I've got to get the other one. Some wax. It does help to put wax on there. So now we go over here, and this one's in the top. I know you say, why the heck do you do this if it's so hard? I don't know, except it's, I love the product that it comes out with when I finally get it done. And I, I enjoy it once I get to the painting part. <laughs> okay, Karen, keep going. Just easy, easy does it. I would be so upset if I broke something in front of the camera. Oh boy, this one's tough. All right, I think I got it. Okay, now get the wax off. Any excess wax, because I want to paint this. Okay. All right, so now I have that done. Now I need two 125s. And it's giving me an exclamation point, which means watch what you're doing, the position. Okay, I'm punching out two more. These are 125s. And so far, it's all punching out very nicely. Trash, okay. So it says, exclamation point, I have to. So I want this this way with these little things up. And now I take 125 and, oh, there's a little tiny, tip, little tip, little point underneath here is really small, but if you see it, then that's supposed to go up when you're putting this on. Okay, so why is that? Oh, it wants it to snap. All right, this little part that goes in a hole down there. See, this is what I'm talking about. It's so, now it's gonna be very challenging not to break the tip off. So I'm pushing that on. It's going through the middle hole down here. There's a middle hole. Oh God. And that's gonna, You know, I just sometimes I don't know how is this going to go on there. Oh, I see that's going to go through that little groove. But that has to go in there. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to take it back off and wax that little part. Wax, wax, wax. Okay. 
Now I'll go back. So there's a groove for that point and a hole for this bottom part. Well, while I get this on, I'm going to pause because it's probably going to take me another 10 minutes. Okay, I got all that together. Now, tell me to put these little Okay, I don't know how it's holding it on yet. It's just got to be something else. Okay. This goes on. And... <laughs> oh, God. All right. This goes on. And... This goes on. And I know there's two more parts, so now if I can just keep it from falling apart. Let me bring it over here. Okay. I can keep you from falling apart till I get the other pieces out. That was 127. Now I need 128. And that's gonna, here it is. Two of these and that will hold the wheels on. I don't sometimes I have to use that there. Is that got them out? They give me these little tools to help. Alright, go back on there. I think I'm going to do one at a time. Alright, you know what? You can fall off. I'm going to work on this end. <laughs> okay. Now... Looks like a square, so I don't think it matters how it goes on there. All right, that's going on. So now, oh. so that tightens up and the wheels roll. That's good. All right, so the other side is wheel first. Big wheel second. And this tiny little thing. Next. Okay, it's going on. I just have to. It's a good thing I've got these nails I have. <laughs> they act as my tool half the time. All right, that's still not on all the way. But I don't want to break anything. I have to be so careful. Okay, so we have we have wheels for the carriage. Well, one end of the carriage. Now, depending how much this shows, is determines how much I'm going to paint it. So I'll wait till I get it together before I paint because I don't want to mess up any of the joints where they can't go on properly. Okay, so we got that far. Now we're on to this page. And it's telling me I got that on. Check, green check. So now, ooh, we're going to start putting the carriage onto this part. So that there, and I'm 
see me and Kate and William, so it's going to go this way. So it's out in there. Oh, I can, right now I see. I need three one thirties. One, two. Three. Okay, so this turns over and that's going to fit into there. And these are going to go over. But I got it on, finally. <laughs> I had to be very gentle. And now I'm just painting these things I just had to snap on. Because I like things to look good from the bottom as well as the top. No one's ever gonna see it, but it, not even me once I put it <laughs> on display. But anyway, I just like to do that, okay. Now, what is next? Put it back up. Close the doors. And so now we have this part together. So, what's next? Got that in there those on check so now we turn to the next page and out of page off of board number six which is this one I have to get out 129 and 129 129 and 129 So, what do I do with 129 and 129? Oh no. <laughs> okay, this is gonna take a while. I have to get these rubber bands and make that, but I have to shorten them. Anyway, you know what? That's gonna take another half an hour. So, paint top back on and well I got the little rubber band thingies on the four sides that was not easy <laughs> I won't even go there then I got the wheels on that took a bit and I've got to figure out what I'm gonna paint these little little discs that hold the wheels on I've got to go look at a picture of the carriage to see what the hubcaps will look like. Now, it's telling me to turn this upside down. And this long piece is going to go on here. And I punched out part 131 which is going to snap on to hold this on. So now, if I can just figure out how to get these this on. Well, I thought I'd show you. I got, I got it on, took a bit. I got the wheels on, but now I need to stop and paint some things that are showing and, um, so that's going to take me a bit. I'm just showing you bits and pieces, but we've gotten this far. And now I need to paint the hubcaps and some underlying stuff. 